WNF transitions to Wednesday night fights to Thursday morning struggles, depending on what mm. side of the bracket you ended up on. I mean, I, Thursday Thursday morning hangovers doesn't sound like as good of a tournament to be yeah. fair. Yeah, th Thursday morning hangover, Thursday morning struggles. Uh -huh. Actually, I got that one from Javi because he tells me like he wakes up Thursday morning and he's struggling to get out of bed. Yeah, can relate. I struggle to get out of bed too, man. I haven't that. Look, man, when I, I went to high school for like how many years? Like four years when I started going to college. I was like, I can get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And that's where I went wrong. Yes. <laughs> that's where I went wrong, man. No, I literally, like, first first week of college in my freshman year, I just made made the conscious option. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can start my classes at, like, 1130 yeah. every day. I'm like, that's the move. No, I, I thought I should do it, like, 8 o'clock. Like, I just do it like it was in high school. And then I realized that was the biggest mistake I could make. Mm -hmm. Because you just like the minute you your body and you know that you don't have to go at eight in the morning, right? What, at 11 30, 10? I mean, I don't like taking night class. We're like, you know, a night class like how am I here? Mm -hmm. You're trying to get the extra ounce of sleep. Plus, if you ask me, the strat here is to take later classes. So if you didn't do your homework and you have to do it at the library, yes, that's how you do it, man. That's how it works. Not too late, so it interferes with locals, of course, but yeah, good timing though. You, 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 you get there before traffic. You, out before traffic. Speaking of timing, though, it's time to get this one started between Lumbre and Spanky. Lumbre already down a little bit, but the back throw is going to bring this to a half percent. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I've never really seen Squirtle walk. <laughs> so, like, that, that few animations that I did see him all those really adorable. He's got that feet. Yeah, he does have feet. <laughs> like, you usually just see him ride the wave, you know, because most, most Squirtles just run, but see him walk is a rare form. See that withdrawal side B there. Honestly, it's a pretty rare option sometimes, but it's really good when you have your opponent has an active hitbox, such as like PK Fire, right? When it lands on the ground. I'm sorry, when it's when it's able to catch you that way, you want to make sure you protect yourself. I like how Spanky got rid of the PK Thunder with the forward air. Mm -hmm. PK Fire, nice falling upper. Gloombray is such a tremendous player of having a lot of nest tech, for sure. He has like a ton of it. Although gets the board air off stage right after Spanky going off stage and gets his reward, it's going to be reset to a two stock game. Oh, I like the fact that he looked at the landing from the withdrawal, goes for a down air, and looking for a cheeky combo there. Well, tilts in a row. That withdrawal has a bit of armor on startup, so even though Lumbre made connection, he's going to be still sent up a little bit. Uh, throw. One up air. He could have gone for a harder punish with perhaps a waterfall, but. This time, Ivy Sword Air will just send him right back off of the platform. Got the sweet spot of Vine Whip, too. That almost killed. Ness, of course, one of the lighter characters in this game. And the second Vine Whip actually will send him to the corner. So Spanky already in a bit of advantage here. Going to switch right back to the Squirtle. Mm -hmm. The one thing also, like, really quick to just notice is, like, Squirtle can be uh, foot schooled if in the middle of the draw. He yes. has 155 frames of flag. The spike as well, but that was unfortunately on stage, so. Oh, the up air. Nice. Now giving Loomboy the opportunity to stay in the air. I feel like that's one thing Spanky wants to look for, right? Is to stop Loomboy from feeling positive in the air and kind of keep him a little bit more grounded. Just the tech and oh, got the read the, with the up smash, mm, too. Yeah, the get up option there from Spanky. Not the best one. Sometimes you are afraid to tech roll back because that would have given, given Loomboy so much stage control and the, and the way to push him off the edge. Edge? Yeah, I feel like rolling to the right like, might have just cornered himself. But yeah. Rolling so, inward just got him punished. Sometimes the best tech and the best get up is to get up in place. Mm -hmm. Space in here, I like it. Looking for that positioning, looking for that space to back her. You can also go for a charge forward smash because you do have a little bit of a wind up, and he's not going to let Lumbre feel safe at all. Goes deep for the downer as well. I think he was just on the edge. That up special barely would have connected if he missed and had to jump back. But doesn't even have to face that. Spanky is going to get the downer to finish game one. Yeah. I mentioned earlier, right, Spanky from the Inland Empire region of SoCal. Uh, great Pokemon trainer as we've been seeing so far. We've seen a great demonstration against Lumbre. Definitely one of the best Nesses in SoCal. 
I think definitely, like, I don't know where to rank him amongst the world because I haven't seen him, like, travel that much. Right. But, you know, if you were to try to fit him in there, he definitely fits somewhere amongst the top five best nests, alongside best nests, for sure. Mm -hmm. the, the likes of best nests and Bo and Atata. But yeah. He's not too far below all of those. Yeah, definitely not too far at all. Mm -hmm. Not PR, but hey, man, with the way the PR, the big PR shakeup with a lot of ranked players has been going on, I wouldn't be surprised to either see him ranked or honorable mention. Yeah. Definitely a question I'm on a conversation I might have to have with Arcus to one of the PR panels in the England Empire. Going forward air, but switches to avoid a second. It's been a very defensive start to this game, too. I haven't seen too much committal options, but still a little bit of damage being registered. Yeah. This could be quite the solid upset if we do see Spanky take over Lumbrae. Lumbrae sometimes turns to be top three in WNF, especially around Raza at times. Mm -hmm. uh, we know we have T3 Dome also as a big WNF player. He's also here, by the way. Raza, the defending WNF champion, is not here, so. Yeah. Out there training with Armada, I believe, actually. He talked about it earlier on his Twitter. Right, Armada's actually been working out with a few SoCal guys. I know I saw Deep Hockey there, I saw uh, Nitro. Saw Master there too. Oh man, you know who you will see out there? Uh, that's Squirtle, because that's where he's looking to fly out there. <laughs> From that PK Thunder. Being top, like I said, top five greatest character in the game, honestly. It's not going to do him any favors getting hit by that PK Thunder. Yeah, that Squirtle looked like Team Rocket because he was just blasting off again. Yep. Oh, they're nice. Good spot on the vine, on the yeah on the vine whip too. You know what's crazy, Star? We live in a world where Team Rocket is actually being Ash, and Ash has actually won <laughs> a Pokemon. Team like, Rocket's also in Smash. As yeah, well. Team Rocket. Yeah, Team Rocket is in Smash. They beat an Ash in the in the anime, and, and Ash has finally won a league. That's that's a crazy world, man. You would have told me that when the Pokemon anime first started. I would have told you like, that's never. Well, actually, I would have believed you because I thought Ash was gonna win. Right? I mean, in the current timeline, like, we're one step away. Oh, he intercepted the PK Thunder. So smart from Spanky, and inadvertently or not, that big body from Charizard is just going to gimp Ness's recovery. Mm -hmm. Nice, using that withdraw, but unfortunately, the end lag from withdrawal, you do receive a couple frames. The armor starts on 22, on frame 22, and it's 34 end lag. So you got to be careful on that one. Uh, PK Thunder 2 nearly going to do it, but the back air will, and Lubre is back to this final stop. Interesting to note, um, if you guys are also wondering, the standing animations for all the Pokemon and Smash Ultimate come from the perspective game, actually. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, I knew they were inspired by that, but... Yeah, they all stand, they all have the same standing animations from the actual games. I think that was the case with Charizard and Smash 4, so it's good to mm -hmm. see that that's been extended to all the Pokemon this time. Oh, I missed the grab here. I like the fact that he set up that Razor Leaf, though, and kind of counter for the fact that they might have been coming in. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> what? That was not worth the risk. I respect it though because he thought he was gonna have time to get the bounce back, or auto snap the ledge. But that miss spacing there—that's what cost him the game. That was the end all be all, and not only that, with how much shield Lumbre had, you you, can't, you have to give it to Lumbre there, man. He was not gonna let that fly so easily. I mean, look at that. That was just a gift for Lumbre that he was in triple digits, one yeah, of the lightest yeah. characters in this game. Spanky was only at 45% or so, but just picked the wrong option there. One mental lapse is going to gift him a game, too. He literally looked at he literally looked at Spanky and said, thanks for the game three, man. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> thanks for game three. Spanky here with a little bit of thought, looking for stage bans. Uh, I respect against Ness, uh, particularly platforms. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to limit them just a tad bit. You do have the Pokemon to kind of like Ivasaur and Charizard to definitely help you out of platforms. But bringing it back to PS2 it won't be such a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Salty Romax, ladies and gentlemen. Salty Romax. All right, man. Well, game three. I'm telling you, man. Spanky shook this guy's hand and said, like, yo, man, yo, fam, thanks. IE, thanks for the good <laughs> Thanks for being IE fan, bro. Thanks for game three. We'll see how that plays out here. Hopefully Lumbre does not let that affect his play at all. Has a bit of a newfound lease on life here, but and he's already making the most of it. 24% registered. A couple of down tilts from Spanky. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fourth throw. 81% here. If I were Specky Man making the switch, might be the play here, especially with that forward smash. He barely lands the directional air dodge. And I'm looking at Spanky Face. He's not, did not look face to see that at all. He's focused right yeah. now. Look at him. All right. You got mid range with Ivasaur. You got space in here. Looking for that possible comeback factor. A little bit more, more weight, too, is so important. Ragdoll up air, though, into his second up air. He was just stuck on the platform and had nowhere to go stranded there. Yeah, I mean, he did not anticipate the size stall that Limber was coming in. Uh, big body just going to be such a target for that PK Thunder 1. Yep. That, that, that. <laughs> With each stock, I'm just seeing the sigh and spanking, knowing that he's lost so much momentum that from that last game that he's, he's feeling it in his head. But that forward smash could be the first thing uh, Quick Signs to look at. This is looking a lot better for Lumbray. Even after that first stock was taken, still has one more to play with before it's even... before it's, the game is even knotted up. But Yeah, it's not over till Pokemon Trainer swings. And unfortunately, unfortunately for Spanky, he still has a chance at life with one stock. It's going to be quite the hill to climb, though. Spanky's Pokemon trainer inches away from blacking out here. Right, Squirrels looks like going to be the first one to be withdrawn with how much percent he's got. And the fact that this just keeps tacking up. He finally gets a line of no combos coming out from Squirtle. All right, there's a Pokemon switch. He might have been hoping to choose the runaway option there. Maybe he could try to sneak in a full heal. Stayed grounded there and got the vine with though. I think a second, to mention the fact that every time you find a Pokemon Gym Leader, they hit you with that full restore on the last Pokemon. Can you imagine if Trainer had that a full restore? Like, yo, oh man, it's a I, I see you're on your last stock here, man. It'd be a shame if I full restored. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, good up smash. I mentioned how that on a tripod, that would that would work to start the Charizard's benefit here. PS2, the only two platforms from the middle one three. Yes. Spanky. Bloomberry might need a burn heal after that one because that up smash from Charizard was just so potent. Yeah. Oh, I missed the grab. Look, if I were Spanky, Squirtle here is a tough play at the ledge. Withdraw, you're able to still come back. I mentioned how the frames are not going to be the one thing that are in your favor. And uh, that's that's what I saw. I talked about it. The frames just not there with withdraw afterwards. Yeah, did well to make the switch. And the withdraw did armor through.